This should be no shock to you. I'm asking this question: Is it an is ether a commodity or a security? I think that Congress has said that there's one agency, the Securities and Exchange Commission, under this committee. And you won't answer my question, and you're the head of that agency. So give me a break. Come on. Crypto is dead in America. I mean, the United States authorities have firmly pointed their guns at crypto. We're, we're going to court to win. Just to be clear, um, I think we have a very strong case, and that's what exactly what we intend to do. Him making a speech is not regulation. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Talk Crypto. The SEC's mission to crack down on crypto is showing no signs of slowing down, with Coinbase becoming their most recent target. In March, the SEC issued a Wells notice against the company. In a recent interview with CNBC, Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong, said Coinbase had met with the SEC 30 times without receiving feedback on the nature of its business before getting the notice. Armstrong also expressed his willingness to move away from the US if there was no regulatory clarity. He further acknowledged they are prepared to go to court in order to achieve that. The crypto community has been closely following these developments, voicing concerns about the brutal attacks on crypto in the United States. In a recent episode of the All In podcast, Chamath Palihapitiya addressed the SEC's attack on Coinbase, reaffirming concerns that the US is losing the technology battle, as more market players are forced to move their crypto enterprises abroad. Guy from Coin Bureau also commented on Gary Gensler's testimony before Congress last week, where he was seen physically shaking when asked, is Ethereum a security? Make sure to stick around as this is a moment you don't want to miss. Let's check out Brian Armstrong's outlook on the crypto market in America, followed by Chamath and Guy's thoughts on the crypto crackdown by the SEC. But before we do, please consider subscribing to our channel, as we bring you daily content on the latest crypto news. And now, let's jump right into the video. We're a business with a, like any business, we have a budget, and we have to decide where to allocate it. And so, that means what products we want to build, but it also means what countries we want to invest in in any given year. And with the U.S. kind of lagging a little bit, having this, this regulation by enforcement approach that's really, instead of just creating a clear rule book so that everybody has to play on a level playing field, uh, we are looking at other markets. Have you got more clarity on precisely what the SEC is worried about right now? Unfortunately, no. Uh, in the last year, we had 30 meetings. Never got a single piece of feedback from them about what we could be doing better or differently. And then this Wells notice arrived. And so it's really, it's really unfortunate. I think we're going to have to actually end up going to court to get the clarity we need and create that case law. Um, it's a really, it's an abdication of responsibility. I mean, the regulator's job is to publish a clear rule book and allow that market to be safe, but also to flourish in that country. And I think they've, they've completely abdicated responsibility. Um, and so we're very prepared for this. We're, we're going to court to win, just to be clear. Um, I think we have a very strong case, and that's what, exactly what we intend to do. I think you know, getting a clear stablecoin bill passed in the US, that would be a great first step. There's a couple parties already working on this. Um, the next big piece, I think, would be to just to get comprehensive legislation around the centralized actors in crypto. Europe has already done it. You know, UK is working on it. So there's no reason why the US needs to be left behind. Um, I think getting clarity about what's a commodity and what's a security. Him making a speech is not regulation. That's, it's offering an opinion. Um, we need something clear, and there is a, there's something called the Administrative Procedures Act in the U.S. They're required by law to engage with industry, have a comment period, and publish a clear rulebook, and they are not doing that. Yesterday, Coinbase announced on their blog that they are suing the SEC to demand regulatory clarity on cryptocurrencies. They stated that all they want is a simple answer to their pending rulemaking petition, which asks the SEC to provide clear guidance for the crypto industry. Let's see what Chamath thinks about the state of cryptocurrencies in the United States. Crypto's dead in America. It is dead in America. Crypto's dead in America. I mean, now you had Game Gensler. Over. You had Gensler even blaming the banking crisis on crypto. So, they've the the United States authorities have firmly pointed their guns at crypto. That they were probably the ones that were the most threatening to the establishment. Okay. And they were the ones that, in fairness to the regulators, did push the boundaries more than any other sector of the startup economy. And yeah, so now they're paying the price for that. The more I think about it, the more I think it's probably not a coincidence that you're seeing all these concerns about de-dollarization at the same time they're cracking down on crypto. So look, there were a bunch of crypto companies that might have done shady things, but I think we all agree that Coinbase was not one of them. Coinbase no. was the gold standard in terms of doing everything right. And they've just Agreed. asked over Agreed. and over again for a regulatory framework. They're just like, tell us how to operate and we'll do it. 
So yeah. I think Jamath is right that they're effectively banning crypto in the United States. They're going to drive all these companies overseas, which is terrible for American innovation. I don't know exactly where blockchain and crypto are going to go from here, but I think that we should find that out in America. You know, we don't want that innovation going offshore. You bring up a really good point too. It's just like Coinbase played by the rules, stood in line, tried to do the right things, it seems, at every step along the way, right? Everything from board composition to executive composition to how they tried to interact with the regulators, yet they were probably the furthest away from getting a license. The one that came the closest was the one that was the most fraudulent, <laughs> which is FTX. Yeah, it was hmm, fascinating. How is that even possible? Last week, SEC Chair Gary Gensler spoke before the House Financial Services Committee regarding the agency's oversight. Let's watch the moment when Gensler is visibly shaking while trying to evade the questions and Guy's comments on his motives. Okay, so do you recognize, uh, how would you categorize Ether then? I think that the general sweep of what Congress did, not just in the 30s, but uh, as amended... I'm asking years, you, sitting in your chair now to make an assessment under the laws as exist, is Ether a commodity or a security? Without speaking to any one... I know you've okay, repeatedly said that you're not going to speak to one, except you've spoken to one, Bitcoin. So I'm asking you to speak to a second one, the lar second largest market cap here. And speaking to the tokens, there's 10 to 12,000. If there's a group of entrepreneurs in I'm the asking middle, about the one. public is anticipating a profit based on the... I'm asking you a specific question, Chair Gensler. I said this in private. This should be no shock to you. I'm asking this question. Is, it an e is Ether a commodity? Or security. And again, it depends on the facts and the law. And if there's a group of individuals, I'm asking about the, the facts middle, and the law sitting in your seat and the judgment you are making. And so, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, I think you you would not want me to prejudge because I'm also. But you have prejudged on this. You've taken you've taken 50 enforcement actions. We're finding out as we go, as you file suit, as people get Wells notices on what is a security in your view in your agency's view. I'm asking you a very simple question about the second largest digital asset. What is your view? And my view is, is if there's a group of individuals in the middle, middle that the public is anticipating All right, so let me just ask a second question then. Do you think it serves the market for an object to be, to be viewed by the commodities regulator as a commodity and the securities regulator to be viewed as a security? Do you think that provides uh, safety and soundness for, for, for the product? Do you think it provides consumer protection? Do you, see, do you think it serves the value of innovation? I think no should be a very simple answer for you here. I think that uncertainty is bad, is it not? And I think that Congress has said that there's one agency, the Securities and Exchange Commission, under this committee. And you won't answer my question, and you're the head of that agency. So give me a break. Come on. I think, um, I mean, you've got to hand it to Gary in one respect, I think. He is, he's become a master of, um, I, I, I guess, a po the, the politician's answer, hasn't he? Yeah. Without sort of, without sort of saying one thing or another. And, I mean, I was watching that particular bit, and my, my best guess is regarding, you know, Ethan, its security status or not security status, I, I kind of, I reckon if he, if he gives an answer one way or the other, then all that does is kind of lead him down a path, which uh, him and the SEC down a path, which I guess it's kind of difficult to backtrack on. Right. So, for instance, if he says, yes, yes, we, we reckon, we believe ETH to be a security, then surely the next question is, well, okay, uh, why aren't you, you know, why aren't you bringing legal action against you know, whoever it is, you know, the yeah. Ethereum Foundation or Vitalik or, you know, whoever, you know, why aren't you, why aren't you acting on it? So it's difficult for him to say yes, but I guess if he, if he says no, then, you know, that's, he said that he's, well, I mean, he's under oath, isn't he? So mm -hmm. he's kind of said that. And then it's again, very, very difficult to get to, to, to go back on that. So, and I guess, you know, if he says, if he says, well, we don't consider ETH to be a security, um, then where does that leave the status of everything else? I guess it's just, I guess if he gives a straight answer, then then he has to commit. You know, he was in a kind of tricky position whereby if he gave any sort of, any sort of straight answer, uh, then that was only going to, that was only going to cause sort of more trouble for him and open up kind of more questions and stuff. So, 
where does the SEC go from here? What's what's next? And are they going to go after every altcoin as a security? My guess would be no. I think they'll probably look to pick off some of the lower hanging fruit. And by that, I mean, uh, I mean, probably proof of stake cryptos that are more centralized than Ethereum. And let's not forget, obviously, they've also got Wells notices out against uh, Coinbase, uh, against Paxos as well. We're kind of still waiting to see what the what the upshot of that Paxos one uh, was. You know, that 30 day period expired a long, long time ago. So, yeah, my guess is that they'll probably they'll probably look to go after smaller projects, but and I would imagine that Ethereum will be safe because, I mean, for one, it's a question of well, who exactly do you go after? Right. Um, and also, you know, it would be it would be such a big battle to have to fight. I'm not sure that the SEC would want to do that. Um, so they are, you know, they are in a they are in a kind of tricky situation as to whether you know what they can say. But um, yeah, it was. It was nice to watch him watch him <laughs> watch him sort of try and squirm his way out of it. US Representative Warren Davidson, who was present at the hearing, has announced plans to introduce legislation to remove SEC Chair Gary Gensler. According to the lawmaker, the upcoming bill is meant to correct a long series of abuses. Gensler's inability to answer that simple question before Congress is embarrassing and shameful. It almost seems as if Gensler has a hidden agenda. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give us a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. This is Let's Talk Crypto and we'll see you in the next video.